What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today, guys, in this video, I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 hidden features in iOS 7. Now, like I said, today in this video, I'm going to be bringing you pretty much the top 10 features that are hidden in iOS 7 that most people can't see or they weren't announced with Apple uh, at the WWDC 2013 conference when uh, they unveiled iOS 7. Just some hidden features uh, that you would not know that would be there and maybe you'll learn a thing or two uh, about the latest operating system for iOS devices. Now for this video we're changing it up and doing a little bit different and I'm doing a collaboration video with ToolGTV um, and so I'm going to be doing my first five uh, hidden features and then he's going to do the next five. So look at the end of my video for the annotation to watch the rest of the uh, five hidden features on his channel and there will also be a link in the description that you could click uh, to go watch the rest. So let's get started. Now the first feature I'm going to be showing you is how to read longer text messages a lot easier. So right here I'm just going to open up the messages app. Uh, you can see that I was pretty much having a conversation with myself here and I went ahead and let's say I was sending uh, a friend a really really long text message. Uh, typically a lot of my friends try to send me um, a lot of emojis which are the little uh, face icons and stuff like that in our group chats and stuff to freeze up each other's phones. Uh, not really funny but it does work. Um, and so Apple kind of has a fix for that in iOS 7 uh, and really long text messages like this as you can see I sent myself here. Um, here it is receiving and you can see it's kind of broken up. There's a little arrow on the end and if I tap that little arrow it will take me to a whole page containing the entire message. Now when you send text messages it doesn't actually break them up but when the person receives them it breaks it into a very small uh, condensed text message. So any text message now is pretty much broken up like that. Uh, you know, it has to be very long for it to happen. Obviously, if it's going to go a couple more lines, it, it, there's no limit to breaking it up. It has to get very long in order for it to happen. Now, while we're in the Messages app, I figured I'd show you the second feature, and that is also to be able to uh, read timestamps from when messages are sent. So we'll go to the top here uh, when I spoke a little bit with myself. Uh, and as you can see, I'm going to take my finger here, and I'm going to kind of go like this. And you see the messages kind of brush to the side, so I come in from the right. And you can actually see when I sent the text messages and when the person... Uh, sent back. Um, so, for example, you could see how the times are right here. So I sent this at 10:22, and then uh, it's sent back. He sent back. We'll just say he, for example. Uh, he sent back at 10:22. Then I sent again, and we sent each other pictures at 10:23. And it shows you the timestamps when they, when you send and receive. It goes both ways, and so it makes it a little bit easier. So it starts out with a time. Um, and then it just kind of goes from there, you know, depending, it's, it doesn't like show up at the top anymore uh, unless, you know, it's uh, several hours of a long period. Uh, instead, you could actually scroll to the side uh, and see the exact time stamps. And the cool thing is you could actually do this and even, and it does show up in the screenshot. So if you want to show someone, uh, you know, times or when you sent and stuff like that, it will actually show up in a screenshot. Now, this is a long awaited feature that people I think have been waiting for forever. It's gotta be one of my favorites too. We'll go ahead and jump into the camera app right here. Um, and this feature will actually allow you now to zoom in video mode. Yes, that's right, zoom in video mode. Don't know if you could do it with the front camera here, uh, but you can do it with the back camera if we just turn real quick. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit hard since I'm facing the camera down, um, but I'll go ahead and start recording a video. Uh, and as you can see, I can zoom in really close on the grains of this desk here. Uh, and I could zoom out as well. And not only can you zoom before uh, you're taking the video, but you can actually zoom in after. So you could be taking a video, you know, uh, of stuff, and you can zoom uh, in and out. And you have the little diode on the bottom here uh, to actually change it as well. Now this next feature is actually very hidden and will actually be out of all these the hardest to actually use because it's actually completely hidden by Apple and it's disabled by default. However, with a little modifications and plist editing through your computer, you will be able to get it. And pretty much what this little uh, tweak, I guess you could say, is, is you'll be able to use the mute switch on the side of your iPhone uh, as an orientation lock, just like you can have that setting uh, on the iPad, which is currently available uh, all the way back to like iOS 4. So no need to worry about that, but you'll be able to do it on the iPhone now. Now currently this did pop up in iOS 7, but it's not currently a presented feature uh, that's actually shown. Uh, what would pretty much happen is through Notification Center, the portrait orientation uh, lock little button here would become a mute button. And then when you hit the little mute switch on the side, you'd be able to put it in portrait orientation mode. Like I said, this feature isn't being shown yet in iOS 7. I haven't done it yet, but uh, with a little editing on your computer, 
um, you can get it to work. There will be details on how to do that in the description. I'll probably put a guide in or something. Now one of the last features I really wanted to show is that you can now add applications in the App Store to a wish list. So let's say for example here I want to get uh, Riptide GP2, so I'll go ahead and tap it here. Um, and versus buying it, I can actually add it to a wish list as you can see here and then I go to my little list here and you know I don't have a lot of apps here right now but on my wish list Riptide is right here so I'll go back and let's say uh, I'm really liking uh, this guy tourist game I want it just don't want to buy it just yet I want to save it for later or something again I could add it to my wish list and as you can see they appear right here I could click edit and I could select one uh, you know and delete one and then I could just keep it here and then whenever I feel like buying it I just tap a little uh, 99 cents or whatever price it is and I could get it and it'll remove itself from the wish list I think and then uh, you know then it's mine. One thing I did notice is you actually cannot add free uh, applications to the wish list you know that's not a big deal uh, of course because you could just download any free app without having to pay for it but that option actually isn't there so I guess it makes sense. Alright guys there you go that is my top five iOS 7 hidden features. I know we said they're going to be 10 but I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to my friend uh, Justin from Tool GTV. He's going to go ahead and finish up the last top 10 features in iOS 7 that him and I wanted to showcase again. We're working on a little collab video together. Uh, so click anywhere here on this screen uh, to go check it out. Definitely to you know watch the rest of our uh, kind of iOS 7 hidden features showcase video. It's very cool. There's a lot more features that we want to show you. So go check out his video again. It's right here in an annotation on the screen. There will also be a link in the description to go check it out. But anyways, guys, that's it for me for this part of the video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, straight give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. Again, click anywhere here to see the rest of our iOS 7 hidden features collab. All right, guys, that's it for me, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I hope you enjoyed Mike's video, but I have one just like it with five more tips. So if you go ahead and click the annotation on the screen or the link right below, uh, you can go ahead and check out those five extra tips. All right, well, thank you, Mike, and uh, I hope to see you guys there.